In this video lecture, I'm going to be answering a question on permutations and combinations that illustrates its differences. So this question says that we need to list all of the permutations and combinations of the four letters A, B, C, and D when they are taken three at a time. So three at a time means that we are allowed to make three-letter word arrangements. Right, so that's what we are going to be creating when we list the permutations and combinations. Now, because we are working with permutations and combinations, this means that no repeats are allowed. Right, so that is one of the conditions. So listing, for example, the letter A twice in this three-letter arrangement is not permitted. So we need to keep that in mind. Right, so I'm going to work with the permutations first. But before I list all of the permutations, remember we have our formula for it. So let's quickly check how many arrangements we would be listing. Right, so we have four letters and we are choosing, we are selecting three. So that means we are now computing 4P3. Right, so you could then put that into your calculator. So I have my calculator here. Right, so I'm entering four. I'm not sure how clear this is on the, ca on, on the camera. But nonetheless, let me do this. I'm now selecting permutation and I'm entering the value of 3. So 4P3 gives me a value of 24. All right, so I know my answer is 24 and that means I'm going to have 24 different arrangements, uh, 24 different three letter arrangements of the letters A, B, C and D. All right, so since we're working with three, let me first work with A, B, B and C. So I'm leaving out D. Right, so A, B, C. Right, so in how many other ways can I arrange this? Remember, permutations mean order matters. So that means since A is in position 1, if I now write it differently, for example, in position 2, that will create a different permutation. But for now, let's just leave A in position 1 and let's swap B and C. So A, C, B. So that's now given me another permutation. Let's now change the position of A. So I'm now going to place B in position 1 and I'm going to write down A, C. So that's the third permutation. Keeping B in position 1, let me swap A and C. So I've got C, A. Right, now let's repeat. Let's now put C in position 1. So I've got B, A. And now keeping C in position 1, let me swap A and B. So I've gotten six permutations by working with the letters A, B, and C. Let me now remove letter C. So I'm going to work with A, B, D. Right, so once again, we can write down more permutations because order matters. Right, so I'll fix A, but let me swap D and B. Next, I'll fix B, but now I will write, I'll be able to swap A and D. So B again, this becomes D, A. The next letter that hasn't had a choice to go into first position was D. Right, so let me write down D, A, B, write down D again and swap B and A. So this is now the list of permutations of the letters A, B and D. Right, so we've already discarded C in here and we've discarded D. Let me now work with A, C and D. So now I'm removing B, A, C, D. Again, write down the permutations of these three letters. Right, so keeping A in first position, I'm swapping D and C. Next, I'll put C in first position, so I have A and D. And keeping C in first position, I'll swap D and A. Right, and finally, what has not been allowed in first position yet was D. So if I put D in first position, I could then write A, C. And keeping D in first position, I can then write down C, A. Right, so, so far I've excluded D. I've excluded C and I've excluded B. Let me now exclude A. So I'm going to work with the letters B, C, and D. And let's now write down the permutations of this. So keeping B in first position but swapping out D and C gives me the next permutation. Now giving C an opportunity to be in first position, I'm left with B, D, swapping it out, D, B in here. Right, and finally, D was not allowed in first position as yet, so let's give it an opportunity. So then I can write down C, B, and then swap it around, B, C. Right, so right now, 
we have pretty much exhausted the number of ways or com- the number of ways that we could have written down um, three letter arrangements of the words a b c and d let's check have we listed 24 different ways or are we short of any so i've got four columns and in each column i've written down six permutations so six times four is 24 so we do have 24 permutations so this is indeed the different permutations that you would obtain from writing down the letters a b c d in three letter arrangements in which no repetition is allowed but order matters now what happens if we're dealing with combinations so if we're finding the combinations now remember again no repetition is allowed right so there's no repetition let me just make a note of this no repetition for both of them however in this case order does not matter right so that means looking at our permutations because order does not matter the com the list of combinations is going to be far less than the list of permutations right so because order does not matter remember our calculation we've got four letters we're choosing three so four choose three you could then put this into your calculator right once again I'm, I'm not sure if you can see this but do try this on your calculator I've entered four I'm now selecting C for combination and followed by three so four choose three has been entered I press equals and I get an answer of four so that means we are only going to have four combinations in which we choose three letters from A B C and D right so observe we can choose so let's delete D so then one choice would be A B C in the next case let's delete C so then it would be A B D in the next case let's delete B so then I would choose A C D and in the last case delete A so that I can pick B C D so observe because order doesn't matter in the case of the permutations we were able to write down five additional ways to arrange A B C but in combinations any listing of the letters A B C regardless of the manner in the order in which they were written uh, in a combination this would be regarded as the same so everything here written in column one is exactly the same combination of A B C similarly here everything in column two is regarded as the same when it comes to combinations of A B and D and the same explanation for A C D and B C D so these are the four combinations of the letters A B C D when they are chosen three at a time and as you can see we were told that we will only have four in the case of combinations and that we will only have 24 in the case of permutations.